So following the star for Advent and thinking where we are the second Sunday in Advent, it's a time to think where has the year gone? What have I achieved? What have been the highs and the lows of the year? Um, was it just another year or has this year changed my life significantly or how has my life changed as a result of what's happened in the year? And, if, and the reality comes when I go back into schools and I see all our young people in our schools and our colleges rehearsing nativity plays, engaging in carol services and Christmas activities. And schools are renowned for doing Christmas early. And this has helped us, I suppose, in our schools to do church and to reflect and retelling the magical story of Christmas in so many different ways in our schools and our colleges. And of course, for young people that we work with, a year is a long time, so many sleeps to Christmas, waiting for that next birthday. So I love Advent, it's that time to reflect, it's the time to wait, it's the time to be busy, and it's in time to engage in the story of Christmas yet again. And we're reminded of this, aren't we, when we hear the Old Testament stories from the prophets and the key message as they foretell the birth of Christ about waiting, waiting and waiting. A time to see all the good things that God's given us in the past and in the future.